Hello Scorpios, thank you so much for joining me for your May reading with Lorian. It's an absolute pleasure to bring you these monthly and weekly readings when I can manage. Um, so this month we're going to be using the Tarot Mucha deck by Los Carabeo. And this is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising sign. So if you do want to just double check on your other aspects as to what is actually coming whoops, through for you then I would advise doing that. Also, for those of you who have inquired about the additional readings, um, for instance, the full moon crystal reading that I did as well, um, and all the other rune readings, those are going to be patron only from next month. Um, so all you need to do is sign up on Patreon, all the details are below, and you'll get access to the free readings, as well as other things, depending on how much you want to donate as well. If you want a private reading with myself, I am available for private readings. So all you have to do is click on the link to my readings page and choose whichever one you would like me to do for you. And then follow the instructions on there and I'll be absolutely happy to do you a reading. Okay, so let's see what is happening for all the Scorpios in May. Now we are going to be coming out from... Uh, Mercury retrograde on the 5th of May 5th to the 9th I think so it'll be interesting to see what kind of communication things are coming through here now they just said do 5 alright so there's 5 nice okay I might actually have to move my little runes just to give them all a running thing there okay wow so it seems like we have a lot of all ones Wow, okay. <laughs> All right, so all ones, let's see. Now, of course, I will, as always, be putting a rune as well um, after this, but let's just have a look and see. So there's definite creativity here for you, Scorpio. Um, and I'm a Scorpio too, Scorpio Sun. Um, I'm just trying to process, like, and assimilate almost down here. Okay, so you have Queen of Rods or Wands, the Page of Rods, the Seven of Rods, and also the Three. Now, this to me comes forward with a very significant, um, almost, message that creativity is number one for you. But I also did get the feeling that there is something very important coming through for you that you may, for instance, like a work or a um, particular idea system that seems to be coming through. So I feel as though this is going to be more to do with how you perceive yourself, how you really, um, how you put across your ideas. Because I think maybe in Mercury Retrograde, we might have been a little bit um, down and out if that makes sense so we may have been too reserved we may have felt like nothing's going forwards and you know stuff like that so I feel that now you seem to be coming through on a much healthier much more vibrant scale um this again I can put this to career love health relationships um anything family this is not directly involved with any particular area it's just the energies coming through and they are saying that whatever stalled before seems to come through you know, running now you've got a volcano <laughs> erupting in the background on two of these cards this is kind of like saying you may be feeling like you're pulsing out energy you're pulsing out life force here you're pulsing out a lot of intensity I mean the amount of times I've been told that the Scorpio were very intense you know and that we're very um kind of intricate and very passionate you know basically like a volcano because we don't snap at everything we have a very cool calm exterior and we may bubble underneath and then suddenly go pew if somebody really wrongs us we have a limit to the forgive me bullshit <laughs> that we are able to take and then we just kind of go pew right that's it but similarly to a volcano um, whatever's so swift we quickly cool so that lava that we spew just cools off and we can ice somebody out very quickly so that's what I think is coming through here now the Queen of Wands is actually from what I've seen in other May readings because um, obviously I do 
support my fellow readers i do watch other readings um she's actually come out on a fair few to be honest with you she's come out on a fair few other readings so if you do happen to watch another video you know it could be that this is actually coming out for all of us um i would say that in this particular card she does represent a leo aspect of ourselves I don't feel that she's a particular person, however, if she is a friend of yours, if she is a lover of yours, or mother, whatever, I feel that she will be coming in just to kind of be almost like a gentle nature. I don't get that she's incredibly important to you with this May, but I do feel that she would be a particular standing point. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Okay, so the main thing that came up was everything's coming up roses because of the rose here, there's a sunflower here. They're saying that you're only at the beginning of your journey, you're only at the beginning of your transformation, your blossom. And, you know, however far you are on this life path, whether you're 18 or 83, this is particularly poignant saying you are only at the beginning. So whether this you take it this to mean that this is kind of like you've got many more incarnations or you've got many more months to go before you figure out this finance situation, this relationship, this friendship, this family, this career, this basically tells you that you to nurture your energy, you to nurture the gifts that you have and keep working hard. That's the main thing that came through to me just now. Keep working hard is a message that I need to hear all the time as well because I feel like this seems like it's going to actually be a little bit longer than normal videos but um, I feel as though a lot of us seem to be needing reassurance that the path we're on is not the wrong one and that the nurturing nature that we need is not going to be kind of forsaken if you know what I mean. So this is almost like it's saying, um, this nurturing, this mother-like energy, this, I mean, she seems a little bit despondent. I don't know whether you can see her there, but she does seem a little bit under the weather and kind of like, Mew. but I feel like this, you've got so much potential. This volcano is within you. You've got so much potential. You are a force of nature and please don't seem a little bit despondent. You're surrounded by beautiful roses. You're a sunflower waiting to rise to the sky and reach new heights. So please keep putting that energy, keep nurturing yourself, keep making sure that you take care of yourself, even for the boring things, and make sure as well that your creative energy is stoked. Now, creative energy, people think that that's immediately paint and writing and everything. No, this is something that need, everybody needs to have something that makes them feel alive. So it could even be gardening. It could even be something that's just not kind of like the day job. And I feel this is quite important. Now they won't leave me alone with this one. So I'm going to bring this up next for you. Now, the three of wands is mostly that your plans are well underway. And you may even actually see or seek even new opportunities and new horizons. So it's kind of like, right, I've laid my place here. I'm going to go and I'm going to see what else the world has to offer for me. So I feel this is almost like learning as you go. You are automatically, and putting in that hard work, you are automatically setting sail for something new. You are setting ground for something new in June. And I feel as though you will become maybe more aware of opportunities that exist. Um, I feel that you may be sometimes a little bit reluctant to take advantage of these opportunities because, you know, it may be like, I don't really want to uh, say no to my best friend because I have to do this or I don't really want to say no to my partner or, you know, you may feel a little bit guilty. And that's where I think these two come in here. So from that point at the beginning of May to this point at the end where you've, you've fueled yourself enough to actually get back to your watery self. You see, there's no, there's no, um, there's no volcanoes here, there's just water. So from feeling maybe dry and erupting and everything to then go in here, I feel that this is actually gonna be something that you can kind of control and you feel more emotional, settled. You're looking at the ships here, which one's gonna take me forwards? You're gonna feel like, right, and stamp you ready to stamp your mark on the universe you're ready to stamp yourself into the um 
kind of general feeling of things and I do feel as though there's got to be so much um, intricate things I mean the ones in itself I mean they're kind of like the busybodies so it could be that you're kind of wanting to move wanting to um, act on something with new ideas and launching yourself having initiative having to keep yourself busy like doing all the little diddly diddly bitty 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 things so it could be that to be perfectly honest it could be something that's just something that you feel like it's coming through general you know tenacity for yourself you know um but this basically this comes through and i mean even here you can see like it's exploding a bit more the page are often messengers so i do feel that you know you will get messages this month that may give you a bit of enthusiasm it may actually encourage you to be a bit of a free spirit you want to explore i think this is doing your psyche you want to explore you want to feel new things and then here it kind of says that you may want to defend yourself you may want to defend your position okay so they're saying as soon as your energy raises and i think you'll be working on raising your energy with these two as soon as your energy raises you'll be faced with people kind of blocking you you'll be faced with people trying to bring you down you'll be faced with people trying to almost be jealous of you like oh you've got that oh well <laughs> it can be anything it can even be who you're friends with if they want to be friends with somebody that you're friends with they will see you in a very negative light because why are you friends with them and they're not blah, 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 blah. so it could be a simple thing like this but i think you need to keep on going don't give in to any mental or emotional kind of negative sways just try to be very present ooh, present in yourself and I feel this is actually going to work very well for you. Um, it's just kind of coming through saying that you do need to be more of a um, more committed. I don't think that's the word. Just more, more, more. <laughs> that's the only thing. Just more. Whatever the challenge, whatever the competition you're going to persevere this month and I think you're going to get there and you're going to be able to see it out on a high. Now as a water sign reader seeing all these fire signs here I mean you probably can tell that it's going to be a little bit of a fiery month and just to give us a bit more perspective I am going to close my eyes as I always do. I'm just going to see if I can shuffle a bit more though because sometimes you get repeat runes and you don't really want that. So what's coming up for Scorpio in the month of May? Please guide us with love and light. Okay, so let's see who you are. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so I do like this card. It's Tewaz card rune. Tewaz. This is authority. This is analysis. This is justice as well. Um it was a little bit of that way which you know sometimes it can spot point to a little bit of um irrationality <laughs> uh, and it could also be a little bit of acting first and thinking later which you know if you're an aries um inspired as well you can almost act on impulse a lot of fire signs do um but it just feels as though you will be measured you will be kind of going into something a lot better for yourself you will be seeking the truth you will be coming forwards this just seemed to be like more of an authority figure here they're telling me to get another rune all right they like you this month scorpio or us this month scorpios <laughs> okay let's see okay so i'm holding two which ones they want both of them okay fine let's have a look oh okay so this one is awas and i don't know whether you can see sorry um this is trustworthiness protection motivation it's also about defense so you could be needing to defend your motivation you could be needing to protect yourselves and look for the trustworthiness in others you could also be wanting to um push forwards on something that you know you need to break through first so we'll put that there and who are you oh okay so this one i can't quite remember the name of it oh dear lord i 
think it's Cerullo. Anyway, for me, this points to being very successful. This is points to having to basically bring forth a little bit of your life force here and your health and um, pay attention to your health is very important as well. I also feel that there's something that you may carry with you that's dragging you down a little bit. You need to remove that. I also feel that there's something that you have to kind of um, honour within yourself. Success is everything, I think, to some Scorpios. Um, sorry, I just realised I put them out of frame. Um, but it just seems like there's so much more here that you are actually going to work towards. And honestly, it seems like a jam-packed month. And I'm not even going to even try to begin to unpack the amount of stuff that seems to be coming through in May. It seems like after Mercury Retrograde comes out, it's like poof and we're storming forwards. So just be aware of things that could kind of topple you off the path. That's my advice. Let me know how it goes for you though. Um, what is it you're planning to do this month? What is it that you're hoping to achieve here? Is there anything in particular that you were planning to do in May? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I do love hearing from you. And thank you as always for subscribing, liking, sharing, spreading the word as well. And if you do want a personal reading from me, just click the link below and all the options that I have available are there, as well as the option on Patreon for additional readings by donating to the website. So thank you so much again for listening. I really hope this is helpful. Let me know how it goes and take care, my fellow Scorpios. I'll read for you all in June.